Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome back. Welcome to this week's What's for Dinner video. This one's going to be a little bit different. This week we're doing three appetizers. They are super delicious, but also super simple. These would be great for parties, for game days. I know Super Bowl's coming up, so maybe it'll give you a little inspiration there, or just to make for your family to enjoy. If you love What's for Dinner videos, make sure you're subscribed because we do these on this channel every single week. Don't go anywhere, and we'll get right to it. The first appetizer that I'm going to share is pepper jelly on cream cheese. If you follow me on Instagram, you've heard me talk about how much I love this stuff. And it's so, so simple. All you need is a block of cream cheese and a jar of pepper jelly. We have some homemade pepper jelly. You could also use store-bought. But we make a big batch of this stuff every year for this purpose right here. I love it that much. And then the only other thing you'll need is whatever you want to use for dipping. To put this appetizer together, all you need to do is take your block of cream cheese and put that on the center of your plate. Then you'll take your pepper jelly and put that right on top. And I like to take either wheat thins or some kind of wheat cracker and put those around the edge of the plate. But you do whatever you want to do. Use whatever you want for dipping. That's just what we enjoy. In case you don't know what pepper jelly is, it's a jelly, in our case, made from jalapeno peppers. I know you can use a couple of different kinds. You can do it however you like, but we use jalapeno peppers. And it's got a little bit of sweetness to it, but it's mostly a savory jelly, and it goes really well with something like cream cheese. I can remember my mama making this appetizer for get-togethers and things when I was younger. She would even put crab meat on it sometimes, and I always, always looked forward to it and my kids love it today. So it's a huge hit with everyone. This next recipe is for spinach artichoke dip. And I got inspiration for this from Courtney over at the Browse Bunch. I'm changing it up just a little bit, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and link her video down in the description box so you can check it out as well. So what you're gonna need is 10 ounces of frozen spinach, thawed and drained. I squeezed out as much water as I could. One can of artichoke hearts, and I just roughly chopped those. She used a can of diced chilies, but my store was out of those, so I got a poblano pepper and roasted it. I'm going to chop that up to add it in. And then for cheese, I have some shredded Italian style cheese, and I also have some shredded Parmesan cheese. Now I'm going to use about a cup of each of those. One block of cream cheese, one stick of butter, and 16 ounces of sour cream. And then one tablespoon of minced garlic. Y'all, it's literally as simple as just dumping everything in the crock pot and then letting it go so that's what I'm gonna do right here I'm getting all of my ingredients into my crock pot then I'm gonna turn it to low and let it go for about an hour and a half just until everything is melted and nice and warm so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you I do have a shot of this in the crock pot before it was done. Something happened to my clip of the finished dip and it makes me really, really sad, but this was so good that I had to share it with you anyways. I'm a huge spinach dip fan and this is probably my favorite spinach dip or spinach and artichoke dip that I have ever had. So even though I didn't have a clip of the finished dip, I still had to share this recipe with you. So you're about to see just a little shot of everything in the crock pot before it was heated through. Y'all, you've got to try this. We served it with just some sliced up everything French bread from Walmart, and it was so good. We had a few people who preferred it with tortilla chips, so whatever you like. This next recipe is cranberry chili meatballs. 
We have a bag of the Great Value Home Style Frozen Meatballs. We're using a little less than half of that bag. These are fully cooked meatballs that are just frozen and ready to go. We put those in our skillet. And the only other ingredients that you'll need for this recipe are a bottle of chili sauce and a can of jellied cranberry sauce. Now, I'm not a fan of canned cranberry sauce, but I love this recipe, so you've got to give it a try. We're going to go ahead and get that cranberry sauce in there with those meatballs. There's one kid helping and one, one just coming to say hi and see what's going on. Then after she got that cranberry sauce in there, I went ahead and added the chili sauce. And we're going to cook this on about medium to medium high heat until everything is melted and bubbly and the meatballs are heated all the way through. It'll take about 15 or 20 minutes. I did keep this covered while it was cooking just to help it along a little bit. And here it is, all bubbly, nice and hot, and ready to enjoy. You can serve this just like it is as an appetizer of meatballs, or you can do like we did on this particular night and turn it into a meal. All we did was put this on some top sliced hot dog buns with a little bit of Italian cheese and had meatball subs. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That really does help me out a lot. Make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you next time. Bye y'all.